everybody, welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe and also click on that bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. So if you are into power sports or in auto automotive stuff or whatever, quads, jet skis, snowmobiles, razors, side-by-sides, whatever, you're going to be maintaining batteries. So the last thing you want to do is you're getting ready to go out and play, you turn that key and nothing happens. So to eliminate that headache, what you got to do is more likely you're going to have to invest in one of these uh, battery chargers. So this is a battery charger that's available from Harbor Freight. It's a, it's a relatively new product. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a Viking um, product number 63350. The retail price is roughly $37, between 30 and 40 bucks. And you can probably get it a little bit cheaper if you have the, the magical coupon that everybody is aware about. All right, so what this charger does, it's a little bit different than the float chargers. Uh, what it will do, it will actually give you some information as you're using it. Um, it will actually tell what's going on with the charger itself. It will tell you what's going on with the battery, state of charge, whether it's good or not. It also gives you the, the ability to change battery types. And the battery types, it can, uh, it can charge as AGM, which is an absorbed glass mat gel, deep cycle, and your standard lead acid batteries. So this charger also has the ability to uh, detect whether it's a six volt or 12 volt battery and it'll essentially it'll adjust it for you. There's really nothing that you need to do. So while we go ahead and open up the box, we'll take a look at the charger and the uh, what you actually get in the kit. Okay, so once you open up the box, essentially what you're gonna receive is you're gonna receive the charger itself. A uh, eyelet connection for um, using the charger as a float charger and the standard um, alligator clips so one nice thing about this charger is um, for the power cable that's built into the unit the cable is roughly about four and a half feet long and then on the output cable which is right here that's also about four and a half feet long so what that means is you can set this up with the battery in the vehicle and plug this into the wall and really have a pretty good range as far as having this set up so you don't have to worry about you know being forced to remove the battery from your vehicle and putting more work for yourself so the way this output is cable is set up it has a two pin quick disconnector on it and it essentially it corresponds with the uh the two output cables that they supply you with um so you can you can change them um, at will so in the event that you need to charge a battery or you're doing something with a long-term storage um, you can essentially have this on your vehicle and not worried about taking it off and essentially whenever you want to charge that battery you just bring the charger over to it make your connection on it and bang you're done uh, this connection is also fused so in the event that you do hook something up wrong um, this fuse will blow before any damage is done to the charger or the battery or vehicle that you're working on. So as far as the, uh, the alligator clips, uh, they're not too bad. Uh, they do have, um, a pretty good spring tension on it. Uh, so when you hook it up, you don't feel like they're just going to fall off. Um, they're, they have pretty good, uh, force on it. So when you do make the connection, it is gonna make a sound connection and you, there's no worry about it falling off when you walk away from it. All right, so that being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook it up to one of our sleds. Uh, there's a battery that needs to be charged and what, we're, we'll, what we'll do is we'll set it up, we'll go through the modes and we'll go from there. Okay, so the battery that we're gonna charge is this little power sports battery. This is in a uh, 2012 Polaris Switchback Adventure 600. And I've disconnected the uh, positive and negative leads from the battery. And uh, we're just going to charge the battery inside the sled, but we're not going to have any uh, wiring going to the sled itself. So we're just going to hook, hook up the power negative leads, and then we're going to go ahead. Okay, so we have the negative and positive lead hooked up to the battery. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the charger. And what you're going to see is you're going to see the charger power on. It's going to first initially you go to green it will register the current voltage and then it's going to go into the charging cycle so the mode that we have it in is 12 volt absorb glass mat 
and in winter mode because we are in the winter and uh, this is a snowmobile battery. So what's going to happen is the uh, charger is going to do its magic over the course of three or four hours, however long it's going to take. And what will happen is once the battery charge is complete, uh, the, the cycle will stop and then it will go to green. All right, so after a couple hours of charging, the, uh, the charger has completed its, its cycle and essentially it's in maintenance mode where it will just maintain the battery at a full charge. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and disconnect the charger, bring it back on the bench and uh, do our final thoughts. Okay, so you've seen the charger in action. It's very easy to use, it does its job. It takes all the guesswork uh, out of what you need to do. And on the flip side, it also gives you feedback as far as what's going on in the state of the battery uh, and everything else. You know, one, you know, you can use float chargers, but I don't personally like using float chargers because it gives you no feedback as far as what's going on with the battery other than a red and green idiot light. Um, you know, with something like this, you can actually see what the charger's doing, the state of the battery, and it gives you positive feedback. And one nice thing about the charger is um, after it goes through its cycle, in the event that it's unable to do a charge, um, it'll actually uh, indicate that the battery is bad and it needs to be replaced. So with that being said, I would give this thing a thumbs up. It really does what it's intended to do without much fanfare. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you like what you saw, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you part of my community. If there's any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.